Alors que la demande en bois dur tropical continue à exploser, les Occidentaux se posent la question de la légalité du bois arrivant à ces ports et comment l'évaluer. L'Union européenne adopte l'application des réglementations forestières, gouvernance et échanges commerciaux, aussi appelée FLECT. Le FLECT est basé sur les principes de la Déclaration de Bali. La réglementation crée les accords de partenariat volontaire, APV, des arrangements bilatéraux entre pays individuels traitant du bois précieux. Le but des APV de l'Union européenne est de s'assurer que le bois et ses produits qui sont exportés à l'UE proviennent uniquement de sources légales. Les APV ont aussi pour objet l'amélioration de la gouvernance forestière et l'application de la loi. As far as we were concerned, we could see that this was a really positive thing. It was something where you had the private sector, the government, civil society coming together to come with some solutions to reform, to build. Juste avant les négociations APV entre l'Union européenne et l'Indonésie, l'EIA et Telapak sont invités à Bruxelles pour encadrer un groupe de députés européens et des autorités de l'UE. Fred Sagisolo les accompagne. Il fait partie du peuple Knasaimos de Papouasie occidentale. L'ambassadeur de l'Indonésie à l'Union européenne se joint aux participants. You could have heard a pin drop when he spoke, and you could see the responsibility, you could see the sheer responsibility and weight on his shoulders for his forest and his community when he was speaking directly to the audience. And he absolutely landed in terms of being able to bring home the reality of the situation and what needed to be done. Far better that than me speaking on their behalf or another report landing on their desk. Retour en Indonésie. Les ONG retournent en Papouasie occidentale pour donner suite à The Final Frontier. Two years on, none of the major criminals behind the pillage of Papua have been convicted. Most of those arrested have been freed by the courts. One of those arrested was an influential police officer called Martin Renner. He was caught red-handed with over 100,000 US dollars in his bank account from companies involved in illegal logging. Incredibly, the court let him walk free. Hasil akhirnya ini sangat mengecewakan. Yang ini sebetulnya menandakan bahwa memang untuk penegakan hukum dan proses judicial di Indonesia itu masih sangat lemah. Although the situation in Indonesia had improved after the last frontier report, it was in some ways a challenging and quite frustrating time as well because the people we were exposing, the main timber barons and their accomplices, they weren't facing any legal action. They were able to act with impunity. L'information fournie par des contacts à Sumatra pousse l'EIA et Telapak à mener une nouvelle enquête. In Riau province, investigators found smuggling to be rife, especially in the Gaoang River area. Whilst there, they were shown an unusual smuggling technique. <laughs> Illegal logging in Gaong also involves a corrupt police officer called Asma. <laughs> Merah, 
most of the timber, stolen from Riau, makes the short journey across the Malacca Straits to Malaysia, where the company, Lee Beng Ko, is one of the main dealers in stolen wood. So this was a really difficult time. Every time we thought we'd got somewhere, we would find that there was even more going on and it just got bigger and bigger. And it was really overwhelming, you know? But then we suddenly pulled ourselves together because it's like, you're not just looking at logs coming from a park and going from A to B. These were syndicates. These were whole syndicates of criminals who were involved on a long chain, if you like, of, of illegal custody of timber. It was crossing borders. It was looking at different politics. It was dealing with completely different levels of enforcement even. And the corruption, the corruption was just rife throughout. Pour les prochaines négociations APV avec l'Union européenne, le gouvernement indonésien rassemble une équipe qui inclut également des universitaires, le monde des affaires et la société civile. Et la PAC est invitée à en faire partie. Ini merupakan keberhasilan dari advokasi seluruh pihak termasuk masyarakat sipil gitu ya. Karena artinya suara semua pemangku kepentingan ada atau terwakili. Dan artinya juga karena kita ada di dalam ruang negosiasi itu kita bisa memonitor pelaksanaan negosiasi dan memastikan bahwa tidak ada penyimpangan-penyimpangan. Après 10 ans à mener des campagnes, le bureau de l'EIA à Washington DC est invité à faire valoir ses arguments directement au gouvernement pour amender les lois américaines de l'importation afin d'inclure la protection des espèces végétales. I now recognize Mr. Von Bismarck. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman Bordello, for the opportunity to testify before this subcommittee. Despite the law that makes sawn timber exported from Indonesia expressly illegal, U.S. trade data shows that over 1,500 shipments declared on customs forms as Indonesian sawn timber worth some, three, some 30 million entered U.S. ports between November 2004 and November 2006. That's more than two shipments a day. Un an après, le gouvernement américain amende the Lacey Act existant afin d'inclure les espèces végétales. L'acte avait été auparavant voté en 1900 pour empêcher que l'on importe vers l'Union fédérale des espèces sauvages. So the US Lacey Act prohibits the trade in plants and plant products that have been illegally sourced from a foreign country. It also requires companies that are importing goods to declare the country of origin and the species name of any plants in their products. And finally, it also establishes a penalties regime, which includes forfeiture of goods and vessels and fines and potentially jail time as well.